Hi, it's Carl the Landscape Guy and thanks for joining us. Today we're planting a low maintenance, free growing hedge in a customer's backyard which we will go through step by step. The hedge is going to serve as the natural border to the neighboring yard. This will cut down on prying eyes while also enclosing the yard. Since there's enough space, we plant a free growing hedge instead of a trimmed one. Before we start to plant, we have the owner show us the exact property line. Sometimes it's even necessary to have a surveyor come out and make sure you know exactly where the property line is in order to avoid legal disputes among neighbors. In some countries, there are specific regulations for how close plants are allowed to be to the property line. For example, trees must be planted at least half a meter away from the property line. So check what local laws state before you start. But here's a tip. It is best to talk to your neighbor and plant a common hedge exactly on the line. Then both sides are happy and you save space, work, trouble and money. We mark our row with strings and begin to cut the turf with the spade along the line. Make sure the hedge plants fit between the strings. Our single row hedge strip will be 50 centimeters wide. Although the hedge doesn't have to be dead straight, in this case it's just for maintenance as robotic lawnmowers are used on both sides of the hedge. We now cut the turf within the strip into shovel sized squares. Then we start removing the turf with a flat shovel. After that, we start laying out the hedge plants. Our hedge consists of equal amounts of six different types of bushes. We have the scarlet firethorn, which is an evergreen and grows to about two and a half meters wide and tall with white flowers that will later become bright red fruits. Then wild privet, a semi-evergreen, can grow up to 5 meters tall and is adorned with white panicle flowers that later bear blackberries. The juneberry grows to about 5 meters tall and forms many star-shaped flowers. The blue-black small berries are edible and very tasty. Then we have the common hearthrone which grows to 6 meters tall and blooms a nice white in early summer and later develops red edible fruit. As an added bonus, their leaves turn a yellow autumn color in fall. Carnelian cherry is also part of the hedge because it blooms beautifully yellow early in spring before the leaves come out. This robust shrub has small red edible fruit in fall. And the Gilder Rose, which grows up to 4 meters tall, blooms with lovely white umbrella form. In addition, it provides decorative little red fruit in the winter season. The shrubs used offer flowers and fruit here and there throughout the year, which of course looks good and also supports the development of useful domestic insects and bird species. We lay out all plants and pay attention to site conditions. For example, we put the hearthrones more in the semi-shade, as this plant can deal with shade better than the others. Favorable planting times are either before the foliage emerges in February, March or after the fall of leaves in October to November. We have potted plants here, which you can plant all year round, but what it comes down to is cost. The bigger they are, the more they cost. Our shrubs are already 150 to 175 centimeters tall because the customer wants to have a tall hedge as soon as possible. Here we plant in a single row. You can also plant two offset rows, but we don't want to go unnecessarily wide. The distance between the unevenly alternated plants is about a meter. Once all plants have been distributed and the gaps adjusted, we can start planting. Due to the large distances, we plant each shrub individually. For hedges with bushes closer together, it makes sense to make a planting trench. 
The planting hole should be larger than the plant bale so that the soil around and below the plant can be loosened. In addition, if the soil is not very rich, humus or compost can be mixed into the soil. After planting the shrub, the hole should be filled up completely and tamped down while the plant is being aligned. We continue like that for the whole hedge. Natural horn chip fertilizer has really proven itself. It is being decomposed by bacteria over time and nitrogen is slowly released into the plant roots. Two handfuls of horn chips are spread out directly on the ground around each shrub. For easy maintenance, the head strip is covered with mulch to inhibit wheat growth. This also ensures that the soil does not dry out and the horn chips are being decomposed well. Any type of mulch or wood chips can be used here, but pine bark mulch will last a bit longer. As the hedge grows and becomes denser, it becomes so shady under the hedge that no weed will grow and no new mulch is needed. We now cut the shrubs a little bit and remove the cross shoots from the plant. Clearing out the plant like that is a way of protection because these rubbing shoots can promote malformation and diseases. Cutting the shrub down a little bit also helps to start off properly at its new spot. So our hedge is done and now has to be watered every day. Keeping the soil around the shrubs moist for a couple months, depending on where you live, will keep them alive in the new environment. Free growing hedges fulfill ecological tasks in gardens and form natural habitats. Other hedge plants that you could use are for example, blackthorn, wild rose, elderberry, lilac, blackberry or raspberry. But make sure they fit the climate you're in. Our hedge here was planted in a temperate climate. In smaller gardens with less space we usually plant straight formed hedges, which then usually have to be cut several times a year to keep them tight. Free growing hedges are often used in parks and they do not need to be cut regularly. Cutting takes place only every three or four years but to rejuvenate the free growing hedge, it can be cut off low to the ground every 8 to 15 years. I hope you like our video and maybe it even helped you decide what kind of hedge you want to plant. You will find links to tools and plants in the video description. Please also visit our channel, there are many videos on landscaping projects that help you improve your yard. We'll be showing you our new hedge again after it has developed and please subscribe to support our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. And remember, your landscape is your living space. I'm called the Landscape Guy.